Today we are going to study the second order high pass Butterworth filter. This is the circuit diagram for the second order high pass Butterworth filter. This second order high pass Butterworth filter can be formed from a second order low pass Butterworth filter simply by interchanging the frequency determining resistors and capacitors. That means in the case of second order low pass Butterworth filter here and here we used resistors and that resistors are replaced by capacitors here and here and here we used capacitors in the case of second order low pass Butterworth filter and that capacitors are replaced by resistors here to obtain this second order high pass Butterworth filter. So simply by interchanging that frequency determining resistors and capacitors we can convert a second order low pass Butterworth filter to a second order high pass Butterworth filter. Then as we said earlier this R1 and RF resistors are used to control the gain of this circuit. Now this is the frequency response of this second order high pass Butterworth filter. This FL represents the cutoff frequency. It is the lower cutoff frequency. And this second order high pass Butterworth filter passes the frequencies that comes after this FL and it blocks the frequencies that comes before this FL. Okay. So this is the pass band of this second order high pass Butterworth filter and this one is the stop band of this second order high pass Butterworth filter. And here we can see the roll off rate is 40 dB per decade because this circuit is a second order high pass Butterworth filter and for the second order filter the roll off rate is 40 dB per decade. Here this AF represents the pass band gain of this second order high pass Butterworth filter and at this cutoff frequency FL the gain will be AF divided by root 2 or it is 3 dB below the maximum gain. Okay. Then the mode V out by V in equation for this second order high pass Butterworth filter is mode V out by V in is equal to AF divided by root of 1 plus FL by F raised to 4. Where this mode V out by V in is the gain as a function of frequency. This AF is the pass band gain of this second order high pass Butterworth filter and this gain must be equal to 1.586 to ensure the Butterworth response. Why we choose this gain as 1.586 is explained in the video for second order low pass Butterworth filter. You can watch that video for the clarification. The link for that video is provided in the description. Then this F is the frequency of the input signal in Hertz and this FL is the low cutoff frequency in Hertz and the low cutoff frequency FL is given by 1 divided by 2 pi into root of R2, R3, C2, C3 and we can see this equation is same as that of the cutoff frequency of second order low pass Butterworth filter. Now let's consider the derivation of these equations. So now we are going to consider the derivation for the mode V out by V in and FL equations for the second order high pass Butterworth filter. For the derivation of that equations first we need to derive this general equation. That means V out by V in is equal to AF into Y1 Y2 divided by Y1 Y2 plus Y2 Y3 into 1 minus AF plus Y4 into Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3. We have already derived this equation in the video class for second order low pass Butterworth filter. So you can go through that video for the derivation of this equation. In that video we have considered a general circuit using the admittance values Y1 to Y4 and we have derived that V out by V in equation for that general second order filter circuit in terms of these admittances. Now to obtain a second order high pass 
Butterworth filter, we need to substitute y1 is equal to sc2, y2 is equal to sc3, y3 is equal to 1 by r2 and y4 is equal to 1 by r3. Because in the place of y1, here we are using a capacitor c2 and in the place of y2, here we are using a capacitor c3 and in the place of y3, we are using a resistance r2 and in the place of y4, we are using a resistance r3 to obtain the second order high pass filter. So, in this general equation for y1 to y4, we need to substitute these values. So, when we substitute for y1 to y4 these values, we will get this equation. Here, y1 is sc2, y2 is sc3. So, this numerator becomes af into sc2 into sc3. And when we consider this denominator, here this term is y1, y2. y1 is sc2, y2 is sc3. So, this term becomes sc2 into sc3. And this term is y2, y3 into 1 minus af. y2 is sc3, y3 is 1 divided by r2. So, this term becomes sc3 into 1 divided by r2 into 1 minus af. Then, this term is y4 into y1 plus y2 plus y3. y4 is 1 by r3. y1 is sc2. y2 is sc3 and y3 is 1 divided by r2. So, when we substitute for y1 to y4 these values, we get the equation as V out by V in is equal to AF into SC2 into SC3 divided by SC2 SC3 plus SC3 into 1 divided by R2 into 1 minus AF plus 1 divided by R3 into SC2 plus SC3 plus 1 divided by R2. Now, we can rewrite this equation like this. Here, in the numerator, consider this term. Here it is SC2 into SC3 and we can rewrite this term as S square C2C3. Okay, so the numerator becomes AF into S square C2C3. Then when we consider this denominator term, here this term can be rewritten as S square C2C3 and this term can be written as SC3 into 1 minus AF divided by R2. Now consider this term here take the LCM here. Okay. The LCM here is R2. So, this terms becomes S R2C2 plus S R2C3 plus 1 divided by R2. Okay. And here we have this 1 by R3. So, we can rewrite this equation as AF into S square C2C3 divided by S square C2C3 plus SC3 into 1 minus AF divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3 into S R2C2 plus S R2C3 plus 1 divided by R2. Now, take the common LCM in this denominator term. Okay? When we consider this denominator term, here the common LCM is R2 R3. Okay? So, take the common LCM as R2, R3, then this term becomes S square R2, R3, C2, C3. Okay, and here we can see the denominator for this term is R2 and the common LCM is R2, R3. So, we need to multiply this term with R3. Okay, so this term becomes S R3, C3 into 1 minus AF. And here for this term, the denominator is same as this R2, R3. So, here we will get S R2, C2 plus S R2, C3 plus 1. Now, take this R2, R3 to the numerator and here from these three terms, take S outside. Then we can write this equation as this one. Okay. So, here the numerator becomes AF into S square R2, R3, C2, C3 and here this denominator becomes S square R2, R3, C2, C3 plus here from these three terms S is taken outside. So, R3, C3 into 1 minus AF plus R2, C2 plus 
R2 C3 into S plus 1. Okay. So, we got this V0 by V in equation as this one. Now, divide the numerator and denominator of this equation using R2 R3 C2 C3. When we divide the numerator by using R2 R3 C2 C3, the numerator becomes AF into S square. Okay. Then when we divide this denominator term with R2 R3 C2 C3, this first term becomes S square because here also we have this R2 R3 C2 C3. So that gets cancelled. Then this second term becomes R3 C3 into 1 minus AF plus R2 C2 plus R2 C3 divided by R2 R3 C2 C3 into S. And this last term becomes 1 divided by R2 R3 C2 C3. Okay. So we get this V out by V in equation as AF into S square divided by S square plus R3 C3 into 1 minus AF plus R2 C2 plus R2 C3 divided by R2 R3 C2 C3 into S plus 1 divided by R2 R3 C2 C3 and this is our equation 7 and this is the equation for the V out by V in of second order high pass Butterworth filter. Now consider the standard form of the transfer function of any second order high pass system. That standard form is given by H of S is equal to V out of S divided by V in of S is equal to a into s square divided by s square plus alpha omega l s plus omega l square where this a is the gain of the system omega l is the lower cutoff frequency in radians per second and this alpha is the damping coefficient now we have already derived the V out by V in equation for the second order high pass Butterworth filter and we can compare these two equations. Here we can see when we consider these two equations the numerator is here it is a s square and here it is a f s square that are similar and when we consider the denominators of these two equations here we have s square and this term is alpha omega l s and this term actually represents this alpha omega l s and the last term here is omega l square so this term is omega l square so these two equations are similar and we can compare these two equations so when we compare these two equations we can write omega l square is equal to 1 divided by r2 r3 c2 c3 okay so comparing the two equations we will get omega l square is equal to 1 divided by r2 r3 c2 c3 and we know omega l is equal to 2 pi fl where this fl is the lower cutoff frequency in hertz okay so 2 pi fl square is equal to 1 divided by r2 r3 c2 c3 and from this equation we can write fl is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root of r2 r3 c2 c3 okay now if this r2 r3 is equal to r and c2 c3 is equal to c then we can rewrite this equation as fl is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi rc because r2 r3 is r so here we get r square and c2 c3 is c so here we get c square so it will be root of r square c square or it is rc okay so we will get fl is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi rc so this is the general equation for the cutoff frequency for the second order high pass Butterworth filter and if the resistors are same and capacitors are same we can rewrite this equation as 1 divided by 2 pi rc let's now consider the frequency response gain required for Butterworth response and voltage gain magnitude equation of second order high pass filter here for simplicity consider r2 
is equal to R3 is equal to R and C2 is equal to C3 is equal to C. Then substitute these conditions in our equation 7. Our equation 7 was this one which is the equation for the which is the V out by V in equation for the second order high pass Butterworth filter. In this equation uh, take R2 and R3 is equal to R and C2 and C3 is equal to C. Okay. Then when we substitute that conditions in this equations, we can rewrite this equation as V out by V in is equal to AF square divided by S square plus then when we consider this term here this R3 C3 becomes RC. Okay. And this R2 C2 becomes RC and this R2 C3 also becomes RC. And that divided by this R2 R3 C2 C3 becomes R square C square because this R2 and R3 are same that is equal to R. So this term becomes R square and the C2 and C3 are also same and that is equal to C. So the C2 C3 is equal to C square. Okay. So this term becomes RC into 1 minus AF plus RC plus RC divided by R square C square into S. Then when we consider this last term, this term becomes 1 divided by R square C square. Okay. So when we apply this condition to this equation 7, we can rewrite this equation as V out by V in is equal to AF into S square divided by S square plus RC into 1 minus AF plus RC plus RC divided by R square C square into S plus 1 divided by R square C square. Now consider this denominator term. Here in this second term we can see this RC is common here. So we can take this RC outside. Okay. Then taking that RC outside we can rewrite this equation as V out by V in is equal to AF into S square divided by S square plus RC into 1 minus AF plus 1 plus 1 divided by R square C square into S plus 1 divided by R square C square. Now when we consider this term in the bracket we can see the term is 1 minus AF plus 1 plus 1. So this term becomes 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 minus AF and then we can cancel that RC here then we can rewrite this equation as AF into S square divided by S square plus 3 minus AF divided by RC into S plus 1 divided by R square C square. Now this is the V out by V in equation for the second order high pass Butterworth filter when R2 is equal to R3 is equal to R and C2 is equal to C3 is equal to C. Now we need to compare this equation with our equation 8. Our equation 8 was this one which is the standard form of the transfer function of any second order high pass system. When we compare these two equations, from these two equations we can write omega L square is equal to 1 divided by R square C square. Okay. So, we can write omega L square is equal to 1 divided by R square C square and for omega L substitute 2 pi FL. So, 2 pi FL square is equal to 1 divided by R square C square or FL is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi RC. So, as we said earlier, when that R2 and R3 are equal to R and when that C2 and C3 are equal to C, that lower cutoff frequency FL is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi RC. Now, also consider this equation with this equation 8. Here, we can see this second term is alpha omega L S and here this term is 3 minus AF divided by RC into S. Okay. So this S is same and we know omega L square is 1 by R square C square or omega L is 
1 divided by RC then the remaining term is 3 minus AF okay so this alpha is equal to 3 minus AF so we will get that damping coefficient alpha is equal to 3 minus AF now we have already discussed in the case of second order low pass Butterworth filter that for the Butterworth response that alpha should be equal to 1.414 so substituting for alpha equal to 1.414 we will get 1.414 is equal to 3 minus AF or from this equation we will get AF is equal to 1.586 hence for the Butterworth response the gain should be equal to 1.586 let's now consider the derivation of mod v out by v in equation for the second order high pass butterworth filter for the derivation of this equation first consider our equation 8 and divide its numerator and denominator with a square our equation 8 was this one which was the standard form of the transfer function of any second order high pass system then divide the numerator and denominator of this equation with a square when we divide the numerator with a square the numerator becomes a this a square gets cancelled and here that gain a is represented as af a is the system gain and this AF is the gain of our circuit so here this A is represented as AF and when we divide the denominator by a square the first term becomes when we divide this first term with a square that becomes 1 and when we divide this second term with a square it becomes omega L divided by S into alpha and we know alpha is 3 minus AF so this second term becomes omega L divided by S into 3 minus AF and when we divide this last term with S square it becomes omega L square divided by S square or we can write it as omega L divided by S all square ok so we can rewrite this equation as H of S is equal to V out of S divided by V in of S is equal to AF divided by 1 plus omega L divided by S into 3 minus AF plus omega L by S all square ok now in this equation put S is equal to J omega and this alpha or this 3 minus AF equal to 1.414 so we can rewrite this equation as h of j omega is equal to v out of j omega divided by v in of j omega is equal to af divided by 1 plus omega l divided by j omega because this s is j omega okay so omega l divided by j omega into 1.414 because this alpha or 3 minus af is 1.414 then plus omega l divided by j omega all square ok now when we consider this equation consider this term here we are squaring this term so here we have a j square term and we know j square value is minus 1 so we can replace this term as minus omega l by omega all square and when we consider this term here we have 1 by j and we know 1 by j is minus j so we can replace this term as minus j 1.414 omega l divided by omega so we can rewrite this equation as af divided by 1 minus j 1.414 omega l divided by omega minus omega l by omega whole square now let's consider the magnitude of this v out by v in when we consider the magnitude of this v out by v in equation here we can see in the new numerator we have only real part so uh, when we consider the magnitude term in the numerator we will get root of af square or that is equal to af and when we consider this denominator term here we can see 
This 1 minus omega L by omega all square is the real part. And this minus J 1.414 omega L by omega is the imaginary part. So when we consider the magnitude, in the denominator we will get square root of real part square plus imaginary part square. And the real part square is 1 minus omega L by omega square all square. And the imaginary part square is 1.414 omega L by omega all square. Or here we will get 1.414 square into omega L by omega all square. This minus gets cancelled when we square. Okay. So we get this mod V out by V in is equal to AF divided by square root of 1 minus omega L by omega square all raised to 2 plus 1.414 square into omega L by omega square. Now when we consider this term here it is in the form of A minus B all square. Okay, A is 1, B is omega L by omega square. So expand this term and also this 1.414 square is equal to 2. So I am replacing this 1.414 square with 2. Okay, then when we expand this term here we will get 1 square minus 2 omega L by omega square plus omega L by omega raised to 4. Okay, then plus 2 omega L by omega all square. So let's consider that equation. So we will get mod V out by V in is equal to AF divided by square root of 1 minus 2 omega L by omega square plus omega L by omega raised to 4 plus 2 omega L by omega square. Okay. Now here we can cancel these two terms. Okay. Then we will get mod V out by V in is equal to AF divided by square root of 1 plus omega L by omega raised to 4. And we know omega L is 2 pi FL and omega is 2 pi F. So that 2 pi gets cancelled and here we will get FL by F. Okay. So we can rewrite this equation in terms of FL and F as mod V out by V in is equal to AF divided by square root of 1 plus FL by F raised to 4. So this is the equation for the mod V out by V in uh, for the second order high pass Butterworth filter. Now when we consider the design of this second order high pass Butterworth filter, the design steps are similar to that of second order low pass Butterworth filter because actually the components used are same only they are interchanged here. Okay, So the design steps are same here also in the case of low pass filter and also in the case of high pass filter the cutoff frequency equation is same. Uh, in the case of low pass filter FH equal to 1 by 2 pi root R2 R3 C2 C3 and here FL equal to 1 by 2 pi root R2 R3 C2 C3. The equation is same. Okay, And also the gain is also same here. For the Butterworth response, this AF should be equal to 1.586. In the case of low pass filter and also in the case of high pass filter, uh, for the second order response, that AF should be equal to 1.586. So all the gain value and the equations are same. Only the difference is that these components are interchanged. Okay, uh, And the mode V out by V in equation is different from that of second order low pass Butterworth filter and this equation and AF value are same for both second order low pass Butterworth filter and second order high pass Butterworth filter. So the design process are same here also. So for the design steps you can go through the video class for second order low pass Butterworth filter.